Welcome back to Dial K for Kevin, where we're three new personalities talking about the favorite game that we love. That's right, Hero Clicks. Join us today as Kevin Dial H is ours. This yeah. is our show. What the? Oh, what is happening? Oh my god! Oh. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? We, it wasn't our best day back there, but we were able to strike a deal with Kevin, and I'm proud to say we are the sole owners of Dial H. No, for he owns the show. Kevin owns the show. Yeah, he owns the show. But on the bright side, he lets us still make videos, and he's going to let us talk about his Ultra Chase figure here in the next phase set. So I'll go ahead and grab it out here. Kevin is 068 in the set. Like I said, an Ultra Chase, he's unique like every Ultra Chase. Celebrity robot, cosmic energy, team ability. He looks really cool. I absolutely love this sculpt. He's kind of floating on a neat little flight stand there, a little flight base. And then he's just this, he's really big, actually. I'm really surprised how tall Kevin is. He's got the really bright whites and reds in his sculpt. He's got the different color lenses, which are really neat. His, uh... The text on his camera lens cap is really cool. I like it. He's got his little little grabber hands. Oh, he's in business mode for sure. Yeah, he's, he's ready to go. He's plotting he, something. He struck a deal with us for sure. That's yeah, that's no joke. Kevin clocking in at forty points here. He's got eight range. He sees through elevated, hindering, blocking characters. Cannot hide from Kevin. He sees all here. He's got three speed his entire dial, zero attack his entire dial, nineteen defense the whole dial, and zero damage. And then he's got a just bunch of random damage powers, all very good supporty damage powers that we like to see on a character. Sumin, you want to go ahead and get into his traits here? Yeah, so that first trait is Knowledge Enhanced Visual Interconnectivity Nexus, which you'll notice spells Kevin. Ooh. Yes. So this first trait is kind of a big one. At the beginning of your turn or whenever Kevin is placed on the map from his card, turn his dial to any non-KO click. So this means when he comes into the game from either the sideline from his card or from uh, the beginning of the game itself, he can be put placed on any of these damage powers, which lets you kind of select what you need in certain instances. His second trait is, this is the story Kevin wants. Once per turn, Kevin may re-roll a roll made by a Marvel character. Kevin can't be equipped. Mm. That's crazy. He also considers friendly Marvel characters within range as adjacent to him when using his damage powers. So that's all characters with an eight. I think you'll find if he's in the middle of the map, that's most maps now. That's yeah. every, yeah. every yeah. square of a small map. Really, really insane. I mean, the leadership from eight, the empower enhancement. That's really Those cool. are the ones that are crazy. Eight, eight range in, uh, support. Yeah, eight eight range support. Is really, really crazy. cool. And his last trait. But I leave that debate up to the internet. Is Kevin can't be healed when Kevin would be damaged? Instead, give him an internet argument token and place him on his card. If you do, at the end of your next turn, place Kevin from his card into a square either in your starting area or adjacent to a friendly character. When Kevin has three internet argument tokens, KO him. Protected pulse wave. This is really funny, really fun, and it's definitely going to give him some sustain. I don't know if he's quite a don't die piece, but in a timed match, honestly, might be like pretty hard to take down. So yeah. this is a really cool figure. I think, in terms of ultra chases, how do you guys feel about him? Where does he kind of rank? Is he fun? Is this going to be a meta staple? Where is Kevin going to be? <sighs> he's definitely below Mephisto as far as like. Oh meta. yeah, definitely below yeah. Mephisto. I think he's really fun and also like a really utility kind of piece so i don't think that he's like too good but i do think that uh yeah being able to switch during the game to like an outwit a perplex or a prob uh, maybe you lost your leadership and so you just put him back oh, on yeah, the map for that point. late game leadership is always something that's hard to come by yeah choosing where he goes with that too i think is really nice like either going to the start or going adjacent to a friendly kind of giving him some flexibility when he comes back so he's yeah. not just coming back and dying immediately so I think, definitely agree with you, below Mephisto, I, I kind of want to put him in like the, the ultra chase Thanos range. The fringe okay. kind of yeah, competitive like, range. Yeah, like He's I'd not going to be the best ultra chase. He's not going to be the best piece you see. 
but you will see him, and he is going to have an impact. I mean, re-rolling a single die or re-rolling any yeah. roll from a Marvel character. It's hilarious. Nuts. It's so good. No, I think when they have this little support, like one size meets all, like support yeah. figure, where he's got all these different re-rolls, he can choose literally like every support style damage power, and he's hard to KO, he's not just one turned. I think that puts him in an interesting place where he's not quite a Mephisto who just keeps coming back and is yeah. like basically unkillable and just too much it just feels like you have to own him yeah, he's versus kevin's like chase. if you want to own him you can definitely try some really cool builds with him which is where i think ultra chases should be yeah they should be fun they should be thematic and ultimately they shouldn't be the most competitive thing in the world that it feels like you have to find like the hardest piece in the set to get so i like him he's a novelty i think out of all the disney plus show characters he's probably the best character choice for an ultra chase definitely. he's definitely not just like yeah a chase or any like super rare or something he's this outside of reality character from she yeah. hulk so i think that fits very well with an ultra chase thematicness so kevin's fun i really enjoy him i love that he's just simple yet very good at what he does, right? The sees through everything that does it within range. I think it's really cool. Flavors there. Flavors there. The fringe there. there. I think this is an ideal ultra chase where you're excited to pull him, you're excited to play him, but it's not, I need to own it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah I think this is a, a great choice. Kevin's really cool, guys. Let us know what you think of Kevin in the comments section below. Let us know what you thought of the Dial H Next Phase project that spanned these last two weeks. Jeez. We had a blast working on all of it. Despite getting a little roughed up here in the end, we still really, really enjoyed it. So remember, for all your Hero Clips content, make sure you dial H. Like always, happy trails.